Well, for some legal analysis, we are joined now by constitutional law professor Ntende Mango. It's good to have you. Thank you very, very much for being our guest here. Um, the public protector says the report can only go to court once it has been tested in Parliament. What are the ministers missing here? Well, I think that the, the, the ministers are missing one thing, that it's not unheard of for the public protector as the report to be set aside and reviewed by a court. It has happened before. Uh, you might remember a case, the Melan Guardian, uh, involving the oil gate scandal. They went to court and the Supreme Court set aside the report. But what was different in that case was that the report in that case had actually gone through the parliamentary process. Yeah. The National Assembly had taken a view, a majority of the members adopted the report. It was only thereafter that it was able to be taken on review and, the, and then set aside. In this case, that has not happened. And so I think that security clusters have missing one point, which is that um, to take this report under review at this stage is a bit too early. Mm. And the courts would not have a jurisdiction to hear this matter because they will be seen as overstepping their powers in terms of the separation of powers. Okay. So that's the point that they are missing. In fact, the separation of powers principle works against the security of ministers at this, at this point. Yeah. as opposed to in their favor. Yeah, but yeah. there is some legal basis upon which to review and eventually set aside a report by the protector. What, what, what would the legal basis be? Well, there are two legal bases. The first one is the, there's a rule of, the rule of law. It's a concept called legality, which is where a court would try to test whether the public protector uh, did not abuse her powers, did not overstep their powers. That principle essentially says that Every exercise of power must be authorized by law and it has to be exercised within the confines of the law. So the court would essentially be looking at to see whether the public protector, in fact, did not abuse her powers. Mm. The second ground would be under the Promotion of Administration of Justice Act, or PAJA as it is called, where again the question will be whether the public protector's um, decision or, or rather exercise of that power constituted what we call administrative action. And in that case, a court would be reviewing to see whether or not uh, she exercised her powers within the confines of the law. So yeah. there are those grounds that have been used in the past that would be used to review their power. But as I've said before, it is too early at this stage okay. to review uh, that report. Something quite interesting you said to me just before we came to the interview is uh, you said that this, this could cost us, the taxpayer, uh, more than 200 million rand in legal fees if and when it goes ahead. Um, was there not another direction we could have taken? Is this the right route to, to go, to actually go to court over something like this? Well, look, there, there's nothing that stops anyone from going to court. And I think our constitution uh, allows people to take matters to court. The question is always whether you're going to succeed. Mm. And in my view, and, and I think every, even a first year of law a student in, in constitutional law advocates will tell you that uh, separation of powers principle prevents this matter being taken to court at this stage. So in my view, uh, I think that uh, the, 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 the ministers might not succeed. It might take time for them to, to get the answer to the question. Mm. So it, it, you know, rather wait until Parliament or the National Assembly takes a view on this matter and then take the, the report under review. Mm. The, the, other, the other point, though, I should make, I think, to, just to, to make our viewers know that, um, that the Supreme Court has also said that in other cases that um, where the challenge, and I think here the ministers are actually alleging that the public protector may have abused her powers, where that is the basis upon which to take the matter for review, is that you are challenging the legality or the process in itself. We shouldn't wait or let a person over, uh, wait until an illegal inquiry yeah. to take its course before they can challenge it. Mm -hmm. But we should allow them to challenge it before that process. So there is also some very slight legal basis upon which the ministers may be able to succeed in taking this matter for review. Yeah, all right, quite yeah. interesting. If they fail, what other route can they take? 
Well, if they fail, then they'll have to wait until this matter right. goes through the parliamentary process, yeah. and then we'll have to see what happens thereafter. Um, um, Professor Fikeni said something along the lines of, this is going to turn into another arms deal. It's going to be hanging over our head for many, many years to come, but we're never really going to ever get to the bottom of it. Do you feel the same way? Well, I, I think there's some truth to that, because at the end of the day, what we're talking about now is the legal process. But at the end of the day, as we're saying, is that... Uh, the political process will have to take its course. So eventually we're going to take a legal process which takes a while. And then and essentially here what we're doing is we're trying to prevent or delay the political process, which eventually has to happen. So yeah. it will take a time. Uh, and I think that in that process there will be other events that are going to overtake this process. And then uh, uh, and I think that the public might feel that uh, they actually haven't uh, gotten a resolution of this matter. Oh, and that's the problem. That's the problem. Let's leave yeah. it there. Thank you for talking to us. It's been a pleasure having you here in the studio. Uh, constitutional law professor Ntende Mahango, who is uh, from, where are you from? The Witzel School. Yeah, that's the where you're University from. of Advertisement. Excellent. Just got it there right yeah. on me, a piece of paper. Thank you for, thank you for talking thank to you us. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure having you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a break.